Litmus Edge allows you the ability to quickly connect to any of your industrial devices, configure data collection, and then use that data to begin to drive business outcomes. To show how this is done, we'll be connecting to a Modbus PLC, which is connected to a pump machine. We'll then pull data related to the power output of the machine and show you what that looks like in loop flows. So let's get started. So we're starting here in the device hub, which is the user interface, which we will use to connect and access all of our data. So first, we're going to click on the plus sign to connect to a new device. When we do that, we're provided with the device type dropdown. And within here, we have a list of all the different manufacturers of industrial devices. So there's POCs and CNC machines, injection molding, and we're looking for Modbus. And once we do that, then we need to select what type of protocol that we're going to be using to connect to this Modbus device. So we'll be using Modbus TCP. So we select that. And now we're given a screen that guides us through the connection process. So there's a number of different fields that we'll have to fill in here. So first we'll give it a name. So we'll call it mixing machine and we'll give it a description, which is the same. So mixing machine and our network address for this machine is 192.168.1.2. And we leave the network port and the station ID the same as the defaults and we'll click add device. When we click add device, a uh, connection will be established to the machine. And once it's green, we know that we can connect successfully to this machine and pull data out. So we see it's still connected. And now we'll set up a tag that will allow us to pull data out of the PLC. So we head over to the tag screen. And from here, you can see a number of different tags that have been set up for the previous machine, which was tank farm one. And, and what we're going to do is add a new tag for our mixing machine. machine. So, so if we click, click on the add tag button, button, you have three options. Add one, which allows us to add a single tag. Upload CSV, which allows us to add bulk tags through a CSV file. And browse tags, which allows you to browse tags on PLCs like Ellen Bradley, where that feature is available. For our demonstration, we're just going to add one click on that and then we select the device we're going to do the mixing machine and from here again we're presented with a screen that will help guide us through how we set that tag up so we'll have to know what type of data we're going to collect and for us it's going to be a float and we want to collect that data every five seconds and we want to give the tag name we'll call it power output and we'll give it a description of power output. And then we'll need to pick the internal register value type. For us, it's a, it's a flow uh, output holding register. And then we'll need to know the address of where that register is within the PLC. For us, it's 2068. And there's a handy register table here below so that you know what the format should be and what the address ranges should be as well. And our count is one. We only want to take the value from that single address. So we'll hit add tag. And then the tag will get added to the list. But for us to see it, what we'll do is we'll filter. And we'll filter by device. Pick mixing machine. And now you can see our power output tag is there. Now that tag will communicate into the system through what's called a topic. This topic allows us to subscribe to that tag and we're going to need that to see the value of what's going on inside that PLC. So we're going to copy this here and then we're going to head over to loop flows so we can see the data. So we'll click on flows and we'll go to loop flows and it opens up a new palette for us here. You can see some existing ones that are set up and what we're going to do is we're going to add a new flow and on here we're going to drag in the data hub subscribe node and we'll give it a double click and we'll paste the topic in here and we'll give it a name of power output. Now, what we're doing here is we're subscribing to that topic that we talked about. And that topic is basically dialed in to the publishing of that data from the mixing machine that's being published every five seconds. So now that we've subscribed to that topic, we can use the debug window quick here to get a quick view of what's going on. So we're going to drag this together and then we're going to hit save and we'll go to our debug window, we'll go current flow and you can see the data is starting to come in already every five seconds. So you see the normalized data 
device name. So there's a mixing machine. Here's the tag name. Uh, here's the internal device ID. Success is true means it was a good read. It tells us the data type, tells us the timestamp in Unix format, and it tells us the value that it's reading. So here we have 4.0, and it tells us the internal register ID and a description of that tag. So again, the normalization of this data allows us to manipulate it in a very consistent way. And we can then publish the data that's coming out of the topic onto a dashboard. So for example, here uh, we have a, a pump that we've already set up. And what we can do is show what that dashboard looks like. And again, all this data is coming. And then we can see it here visualized. So that's it. That's how quick and easy it is to hook up to your PLC, pull a data through a tag, use loop flows and begin to act upon and visualize your data. Thank you.